school district of Milton is trying to figure out what to do next after its $87 million capital referendum failed at the polls. The money would have addressed district needs like aging buildings and overcrowding. Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw has more. Students in the school district of Milton won't be getting a new high school, which was part of the plan for the $87 million referendum. And now board members are trying to figure out how to address facility needs with the money they have. The costs are not going to get less expensive and the needs are not going away. After a very close vote split the district's referendum, the school board is now looking ahead. We needed to rest up after the election, regroup. This is a first step. A subgroup of the board will be meeting Wednesday morning to talk about what to do with the operational referendum that passed, granting the district $2.5 million a year for the next five years. A portion of that, of course, goes to cover our structural deficit. But there's money beyond that, which will help us maintain and improve our robust programs. The board also has to decide what to do now since the capital referendum failed, which would have provided funds to build a new high school and fix overcrowding issues. We have a lot of needs of not going away. Since the vote was so close, the school board is looking for community input on how to move forward. Our schools are so positive. Milton is such a phenomenal community to live in. We can do so many more good things if we find a way to do it together. And I think that's what we'll be reaching out to do. The School District of Milton Strategic Planning Committee will be meeting tomorrow morning at 9.30 at the district office to talk about the next steps. In Milton, Jenna Middaw, WISC News 3. And the meeting is open to the public, so the community is invited to go tomorrow morning. The Strategic Planning Committee will bring what it discussed at that meeting to the school board's next meeting, which will be on Monday. Next tonight, a federal judge has blocked a ruling that would have extended overtime pay to more than 4 million workers. A Texas judge agreed with 21 states, including Wisconsin, and a coalition of business groups that claimed the rule was unlawful. The regulation, considered one of President Obama's signature achievements, was set to take effect on December 1st.